become the star of the show at your next barbecue bash. Miss Tina Makua is grilling for another cooking lesson. Yes, we like the cooking lessons. Chef Eric Carey always tr tries to send me all these great ideas that mm. you have here. What was the actual challenge that you were trying to do? So to make a burger or make something using only the ingredients that were found in the Americas. Okay. So that was like the start of it and then it just went out of control. I. I I regretted every minute of it. It's just really. <laughs> All right, it so it was, it's a bison <laughs> burger here. This is the finished product, but look, let's break it down here because earlier you showed us the tomatillos instead of fried green tom sure. tomatoes. Sure. You had fried green tomatillos. Tomatillos. And they were really good. I tasted them. Very good. For the meat, we had to go bison because yeah. those were here. Hey, Google. And after that, <laughs> um, this is the finished product for your just regular bison burger. This is potato bread because potatoes were here. Never mind all the lettuce and all of that. Just let that go and I'm slide. We had lettuce somewhere. We have a riskier version of this too. Okay. Um, let's try this. A little bit of corn masa, mm -hmm. little water, salt, make a little dough out of it. Just enough water to make that. Okay. Then we put it, smash it down and then put it on the grill. And you're gonna get something like this. Looks very similar to a pupusa, because it kind of yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's just kind of like that. So, what if we twist it and use this as the bread oh, for your second version? Okay, okay. So we did that, and um, just a just a note: when you're seasoning, just a little salt on there is just good to did go. Did you already put? Yeah, let's put some. Just that. I, I mean. Yeah. That's for the burger purists. Okay. For this one, season it like you would like asada. So this is almost like an asada burger. Okay. So okay. now you have this kind of asada burger pupusa thing going on because this is a challenge okay. and these things were here. And avocado, these avocados were here. Oh, so okay. pair it with a little avocado. And the question is, are you going the regular style? Mm -hmm. Or are you gonna take a risk and try? Oh, wow. Wow. The pupusa burger. Yeah, there you go. That's the question. Okay. So, those are two styles. We have one sizzling over here. Mm -hmm. He's getting there. There we go. Oh, I love your challenges here. Now, tell us a little bit about the catering business Ooh. in Stockton here. Sure. So, shipyardhall.com. Uh, what we do is just events, everything on the weekends. But the thing is, if you order our catering for 60 or more people, yeah. we waive the, the fee for the hall. So, you just pay for the catering. So what a great deal is that? Because we all know if we rent a space, it can be very expensive here. Absolutely. Okay. So it's just that. Um, we don't charge anything for that as long as you order for 60. And oh my goodness. Website? First, shipyardhall.com. First come, first serve at that. And uh, we'll see you over there. All right. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you mm. for having me. Papusa Burger! Papusa Burger! Okay. We'll be right back.